This is an introduction to the Vulture data gathering tool developed for the Road to CPS project. To find the tool, navigate to roadtocps.tech-trends.co.uk with your web browser. Note there is no www in front of this. Once you have found the website, to access all the facilities you'll need to log in. You should already have a username and login. Normally your username is your full name. Note the capitalization of your first and last name and the password. If you've forgotten your password you can ask for a new password which will be sent to you to your email address. Once you've entered your new username and password, log in and you should now see the following screen and note that you now have privileges to add content and perform some searches that you didn't have before. To log out of this screen use the log out button here. It is worth taking a few moments to look at the information that's offered on the home page. Further down the page you'll find some guidance notes in, as both a PDF and a, a live Google Apps version and this contains a lot of useful information about entering data into the tool. There's also at the moment a very brief summary of the number of snippets of information that have been added. At the top of the page there is the main menu and in the right hand side of the page some navigation menu items. Sometimes additional menu items will appear here on the right hand side of the page. Let's look at each of the navigation items in turn. Project sources contain a list of all the projects that have been used as the sources of information for Work Package 1. The projects are all listed, their acronyms are all listed down the right hand side of the page for ease of navigation. You may click on any of these items, for example Auto Profit, and what you'll find is the entry for Auto Profit and also uh, a list of any items that are associated with that project that have been added to the tool. While looking at this uh, auto profit view notice a number of additional menu items have appeared. First you have the ability to click on edit and edit some of the entries. For the snippets you will only have the power to edit entries that you have created yourself. So for example if I click on this snippet and read more I will have an edit option. However most of you will not be able to edit anybody else's uh, content. Notice as well there are also metadata items as well and if you click on one of these items the system will present you all the information that is associated with that particular metadata term and in this way you can very quickly navigate through a large amount of content of the uh, website and make your own judgments and views as to the content. <laughs> Having just introduced the uh, concept of the classification, let's have a look at the classification menu. This classification menu lists all the metadata terms uh, that are used on the website. Notice that the title of each term is actually a link and if you link on any of these terms it will show you all the content on the website that is listed with that particular term. Labeling snippets of information with appropriate metadata is the fundamental concept behind the Vulture tool so it's worth spending a few minutes having a look at the metadata terms and checking that you're both happy with them and agree with them. There is the possibility that we could still modify some of these terms if there is a very good reason for doing so. 
Now let's move on to looking at state-of-the-art snippets. If you click on this menu item it will list all the snippets that have been currently all the state-of-the-art snippets that have been currently added to the system. You'll notice for each snippet it has a title. Uh, the title is a link and links to the full content. In the summary view you can see who submitted the snippet and when, the project source and the classification. And you can move down and you can see a number of different uh, entries. And I'm going to select one of my own, uh, this software Embicon interface description. And I'm going to click on read more and look at the full entry and what you'll find on the full entry I have the ability to edit it because it's my snippet you'll have the ability to edit your own snippets you can see the project source uh, this is clickable I've made a summary of the project uh, objectives there's a web reference there's a project wiki and the rationale is often interesting because this is intended to capture the personal thoughts as to why this entry was entered and why the uh, uh, various classifications were applied. If you uh, have a comment to make on any snippet, indeed any snippet or any any content anywhere on the website, you'll find you can make a, con a comment whilst you're signed in you must enter a subject, although I guess the subject is op optional, but you must put something in the comment field and then you can save that uh, that comment and it'll be visible for everybody to, uh, to, to read. Impact snippets and gap snippets have a very similar presentation so I won't go into the full details here. Uh, a separate video will give advice on how to uh, to fill in and create uh, impact snippets, gap snippets and indeed state-of-the-art snippets. The data visualization menu option is currently work in progress and basically here I've been testing various uh, charting engines that may be useful later in the work when we come to analysing the data uh, but you may enjoy just having a look at where the experimental work has taken me so far. Uh, these word clouds are, are a test of a, a JavaScript based tool and provide uh, an interesting view of uh, the frequency of which various terms are being used. Uh, the bigger the term, uh, the more frequently it's been used. And somewhere here we'll find big data has only actually been once used once. Each of these terms are actually clickable, so we can go and find the entry that's been classed with each of these terms. more data visualization options will be included uh, di using different uh, charting engines. Um, some will probably only last a few minutes because they won't be very successful. Others may well become a part of the tool and useful for the production of the final report. The final menu options to look at are down the right hand side. The Add Content menu allows you to add different types of content. There's a Simple Search, Advanced Search. These are both uh, work in progress, so uh, very simple uh, views. These will be developed later on in the project. And finally, there's a little block uh, which shows recent comments. There's actually only been one comment at the time of this recording so you can go and view uh, what those comments uh, are. And finally there's a free text search in the system and that really covers all the menu items in the, uh, in the Vulture tool. Adding data I will cover in a separate little video. I hope you found this useful.